we have a basic structure of the card component right here that we created already. So now let's go ahead and add some styling to make it look like the Coffee Connoisseur app. Now, if you look at the card component right here, you will notice that it has a hover effect wherein we change the color on hover. But at the same time, it also has some border. It has a drop shadow, but it also has this special effect that makes it looks like a glass. So let's take a look at that design. It's called glass morphism. Glass morphism gained a lot of popularity. It is a really cool design that gives an impression of a frosted glass aesthetic. This tool, Glass Morphism CSS Generator, allows you to generate different CSS properties and allows you to set the blur property and the transparency as you like. Now, I have already gone ahead and created the styling for us, but I use this tool to create that. In our app, the card component uses the glass morphism style itself. So let's go ahead and add some styling to a card component. Now in our code, let's give it some class names so that we can style further and any styling that we add to our card component is attached to the resources section. So please go ahead and copy that. I have it here as well. So let's import styles from card.module.css and it should be card.module.css right here. And over here, let's give it a few class names. So for example, we can say styles dot card link because this is a link itself. Similarly, I'm going to copy this so that we can reuse it. For the header, we can say card header because this is the header. And over here for the image, we can say card image. In addition to this, we are also adding some spacing around the header and the image. So let's also give it a div around both of those elements. So we can say div right here that wraps around the header. So we can literally call this card header wrapper. Similarly, copying this div over for the image. Let's do something similar so that we know that this is the wrapper for the image. So we can say card image wrapper. All right, we need one more thing, which is a div that wraps around all the elements in the body. So more like a container. So let's give it that style. All right, this closes here, this closes here. So we can just give it right here. All right. We have the class names applied here already. Now let's go ahead and add some styling over here. Now I have already attached the CSS for the C card module component in the resources section. So head over there and copy that. I have already prepped the styling for us so we can focus on the component itself. Pasting it right here and saving it. All right. Let's go ahead and check it out in the browser. Sweet. If you notice, there's definitely some difference. But just because this specific image and this image is exactly the same, you can't necessarily tell. So we do need a background. So let's go ahead and create this glass morphism effect that we want. Now, in order to create that glass effect, we need to apply the styling to this specific div alongside container. Now, if we add the glass class name to card.module.css, it won't necessarily make sense. And that's because that specific glass effect is going to be used over here as well. So thinking ahead, let's move it in a place where we can use it and apply it everywhere. 
And we all know what that file would be, right? It would be global.css. So let's head over there and add the styling right here. Now, if you head over to the resources section and copy the glass morphism CSS code and paste it right here. Now heading over to card, we need to add the glass style right here along with container. Now, in order to do that, in order to combine two objects, that is combining the glass style that we added here along with the container style itself, we, we can use a package called class name. Class names essentially help us in combining and joining different class names together from CSS modules or class names in general. All you need to do is apply class names just like that and it will attach both of them together in a way that makes sense and it's easy for us to manage. So let's go ahead and do that. But first we need to install class names. So let's add npm install class names as it's installing. Whoa, already done. So let's start it. Let's start our server again. It has already started. So now let's go ahead and use it. Now over here, we can say import CLS from class name. And over here, all we need to do then is CLS glass, because that's the style that we're applying from here and hit save. And this can stay as is. Now going back. There you go. The glass morphism style has already been applied here. It's already looking a lot better. But if you notice that the card component is actually taking full width, we want it to be a specific width just like here. So let's go ahead and fix that. I'll see you in the next one.